Hi guys, so back last year before the UK left the Brexit transition period, Boris Johnson and his government promoted the idea that Northern Ireland was in a unique position to benefit from being both in the single market for goods and having frictionless trade with the rest of the UK. This positive message suddenly disappeared from the lips of Tory ministers when the problems of Brexit began to show themselves in Great Britain in January. However, a true benefit of the Northern Ireland Protocol, of course not being promoted anymore by the British government, may be that that part of the UK could become a major distribution hub, which has already seen inward investment since Great Britain left the single market. A number of large companies have just opened logistics centres in Northern Ireland in order to have better access to the EU. JD Sports being one of them, while many companies have set up this year in countries like Belgium, France and the Netherlands, opening an operation in Northern Ireland allows them greater access to Great Britain due to Northern Ireland still being part of the UK's internal market. A number of organisations have suggested that the Northern Ireland Protocol could be used as a tool to promote Northern Ireland as a distribution hub for businesses which sell into both the EU and the UK. Setting up in Northern Ireland allows companies to avoid the problems related to trading from Great Britain, which is fraught with paperwork and delays at ports. While goods arriving from Great Britain face checks and controls, it isn't the case in the opposite direction. Before Brexit, British businesses would import items from outside the European Union. They would then pay the EU's common external tariff and have the ability to export all over Europe. However, now that Great Britain is a third country, companies have to pay two tariffs, the UK one when goods are imported into Great Britain, and then a second one for sending them into the EU. This is not just costly, but time consuming. How companies have been getting around this problem this year is to open warehouses in European countries, then have the goods sent directly from the suppliers outside the European Union, avoiding Britain altogether. This is where Northern Ireland comes in as a real benefit. If you have the goods sent directly to, for example, a JD Sports warehouse in Belfast, of course, if all the paperwork from China is in order, the goods can move freely within the European Union. But they can also move freely to Great Britain, all thanks to the Northern Ireland Protocol. So while the Northern Ireland Protocol is great for business, it's still a political headache for those in the Unionist and pro-Brexit communities in Northern Ireland and Great Britain. Recently, Queen's University Belfast has pointed to a hardening of views where those who support Brexit see any positive news surrounding the protocol as a potential threat to Northern Ireland's position in the UK, while those who voted against Brexit see stronger cooperation with Ireland as a step towards a united Ireland. While Brexit was not as polarising in Northern Ireland as it was in England, for example, the consequences of Brexit have created a new level of anxiety there. Young unionists and loyalists who grew up post Troubles Northern Ireland see the protocol as a threat to the union that must be stopped. Those who are unemployed or are not benefiting directly from the benefits of the protocol are issuing the strongest voices for its removal. What is also interesting is the silence from parties like Sinn Féin, who probably see Brexit, something that they didn't support, giving a united Ireland a shot in the arm. Those opposed to UK rule in Northern Ireland have been watching a slow drip drip to a united Ireland and now see the moment much closer than ever before. The Northern Ireland Protocol will continue to demonstrate how beneficial it is to Northern Ireland and we will see further investment. The only caveat here is that if Brexiteers in Great Britain keep banging on about how it needs to go, they may frighten away those companies that could deliver true prosperity to Northern Ireland. Let me know in the comment section what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.